everybody. Well, I am at Gettysburg Battlefield National Park. And I have to tell you, it is actually extremely difficult to record here when a whole town is the national park and the battlefield for as far as you can see. And it's very busy because it's a Friday in the summertime. But we will take a look around and I will record what I can record. I did go to the movie, couldn't record anything in there obviously, and then I went to see this great panorama of art that was actually done by a French artist, which I find kind of weird, um, considering this was an American war, but hey, maybe he just kind of liked that kind of stuff, but it's over a hundred years old, and it's in the museum here, and it does this whole panoramic explaining all the details of it, really super cool, I totally recommend it, and the movie. When people go to museums, they often don't go stop and see the movie. And I used to be one of those people. And then I started stopping to see them. Look at those cannons. But once I started stopping to see the movies, one, it gave me a better understanding of the history or the event of the museum. But two, they're actually really good movies. Especially the one at Crazy Horse is my favorite. And I'm not going to tell you the story because you need to go watch it for yourself. But it's one of my favorite museum movies. Anyway, Gettysburg Battlefield National Park. We're gonna see how this war took place. It's pretty cool. They have it all mapped out. I'm at stop two, because stop one is, no, oh, you actually can't see it from here anymore, but it was all backed up with cars. So I will go back to spot one later. Pretty cool, look at these old cannons. And all of the, um, I guess you call them artifacts that are out here, are from that time period. They're not replicated, but they have been like maintained or the pieces added if they fell off or broke or something. But it's pretty cool. Really cool. But the whole town is the National Park and the battlefield. I saw fireworks here last night. That was pretty awesome. But I thought I'd show you around out here. But this is definitely... A highlight of the trip and a stop I think everybody should make. That's your house down there and that red building's your barn and all of this is the battlefield for the Civil War and there's the lookout that they built. Back in the day it was built of wood now it's of metal to be a tourist thing to look out over those ridges over there and see everything that was going on. This is crazy. This whole town of Rolling Hills became a major battlefield. Pretty incredible. So I decided we're going to have to start filming the battlefield as I drive and while I drive because there's so many people out here with cars and motorcycles and I've got this big old motor home and I was going to take the bus tour instead of do this so I could stop and get out all the time but um, whatchamacallit? They, don't, they stop at every stop, but if people don't want to get out, they don't get out. And if I'm the only one who wants to get out, that's going to be a little bit awkward. So you're going to have to listen to the recording, and you're going to have to listen to the GPS a little bit. But get over it. You're going to know Gettysburg, Battlefield National Park. Stop one, which actually leads you into stop four. So we did stop one, stop two, stop three. We're headed to stop four. And you see the monuments on the side of the road. I did stop earlier and was reading some of them, but now the traffic is picked up, so it's harder. So I'm going to drive you guys through, and then I'm going to pick up on the five stops that I didn't get to actually stop at and do that part for myself. So haha, -ha, suckers. <laughs> Just kidding. It's been great. I just am still shocked and dumbfounded that a whole town, a whole town, became the National Park. And I'm sure their town border lines are further out, but I'm saying for the center of town and everything that happened, but you think about it, that's, they were small then, not as big as what we deal with now. Oops.
think I needed to go. That's okay. I just wanted to let you know that I wasn't trying to kill nobody. I also forgot to mention that it is so flippin' hot and humid out here that I'm sweating like crazy. My face is already sunburnt and the biting flies are back. I don't get it. I do not get it. All right, bye. Okay, so now we're in the Gettysburg Battlefield National Park Museum and I have a working phone that's not overheated. So even though I've been through here yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this time and take some pictures and record some stuff for you. I'm sorry I couldn't record the auto tour. I am gonna take the auto tour via bus tomorrow and maybe that'll help my situation. It's cool and sort of, yes, yeah, not cool, but these are the faces of some of the men who died in the Battle of Gettysburg. It's a commemorative wall. This museum is just amazing. I can't, and I know I say that all the time, and I can't get enough of stuff, but it's pretty incredible. It's huge, and you can tell by just the sheer number of people that still come here that it's still relevant in their lives. It's pretty cool. Look at that, those are bones. And those are some of the bones that have been recovered out here. And here are some of the medical tools. It's pretty cool to think that this stuff dates back that far. It's also pretty cool to know that they just set up a hospital anywhere. I'm going to go explore a church, I believe, tomorrow that ended up being a hospital during the Civil War. And that, to me, is pretty cool. So the museum, people will probably find the most morbid, but it's also the most interesting to me. So after the Battle of Gettysburg, after the Confederates lost, they retreated. Well, when they retreated, the North chased after them. Well, what happened to all the thousands of dead bodies that were here? They were just left here for the people of Gettysburg to deal with. And there weren't many people left here because all the men were off to war chasing the Confederates back into Virginia. So they just dug like shallow graves and tried to do what they could with the bodies, but mostly that work was left to women who were left behind, the elderly that were left behind, and the wounded that were left behind. I couldn't imagine living in this area, in such a small town, and having to deal with that. There's even like a sign that says that it smelled so bad they couldn't open their windows for weeks. Very crazy. I'm leaving the Gettysburg uh, Battlefield Museum, and I have to say, first I'm looking at the beautiful flowers, I don't feel like my video of this museum does it justice, or my video of the auto tour does it justice, so we're just going to piece those together as they are and tell you that you got to come here so your own eyes can do the place justice. Because it was so crowded inside the museum, it was hard to record, so I took snapshots. And then on the auto tour, the phone got too hot and it wouldn't record. So it's just been a complicated day, but a beautiful, wonderful, amazing historical event that I got to see. So it's pretty cool. I am actually going to go off to a reenactment battlefield and I'll see what I can get on film for you guys there. But I'm going to enjoy it for myself too. For those of you from the West, I do, do not at all recommend you come here in the summertime because the humidity and the biting flies will kill you. That being said, ah, shit, I forgot my train of thought. Oh, I also don't recommend you come 4th of July weekend because everybody and their brother is out here. <laughs> I didn't plan it that way. It was a happenstance, but there's like a million people out here everywhere. Seriously. I know we're doing a shot of the RV parking lot right now, and it doesn't look that full, but I promise you that's because this is the furthest parking lot from the museum, and maybe people don't even know it's out here. So I got lucky with that, but seriously, crazy amount of people in here. Some of the things I find cool in life. This right here is a Civil War wall, and this hill I'm on is called Cemetery Hill. This is where the northern troops would align, make their plan of attack and everything. This tree... This tree was here during the Civil War, and it's still here. 
if trees could talk, could you imagine the stories it could tell? But the reason the north liked this spot is it was considered the high point. Look, you can see everything down there very far. And on the other side, too, but that's now built up city of Gettysburg. And the cemetery is on the other side. At least 6,000, if not more, Confederate soldiers lost their lives just down that side, that side of the hill. And this is also, I want to say where Lee surrendered, but I think I might have that wrong. But such is life about my road trip. Sometimes I get things wrong. This is pretty cool. It's beautiful up here. I have to tell you, it is hotter than heck because of the humidity. It is not heat hot, but this is where you really, if you're an Arizonan, this is where you really feel the difference of the east versus the west. Because in Arizona, I wouldn't even be outside right now because it's heat hot. In Pennsylvania, I shouldn't be outside right now because even though it doesn't appear to be heat hot, the humidity has me melting. And I don't know yet whether I would rather bake or melt. I'm not sure. But it makes it even harder to breathe. Very bizarre how life works. And very bizarre how different people are because the people here that are from here are having no problem. <laughs> but all of us that have, are visiting are having a problem. And it's become a strange topic of conversation. There's that tree again. The weather. <laughs> but right there is a storm coming in. And let me tell you, if that rain comes down, I am sure as hell going to be playing in it. Because I feel like I need to shower every five seconds. I'm hot. I'm wet. I'm sticky. And that attracts the biting flies. And after dark, that will attract the mosquitoes. Now this is the weird thing. I had to drive like two or three towns over last night to find a place to stay. Because I just couldn't, I don't know what's up with Google and GPS and Gettysburg, but just so you know, Google, if you ever watch my videos, you know the map of Gettysburg, all wrong. Walking or driving, it's wrong. And no, it's not me, because everybody's talking about it. So I don't know if it's whatever's going wonky with the internet right now, or if it's a Google problem, but Google's not getting us where we got to go. And I rely on them like, I don't know, more than 50%. Because I hate reading the maps. Even though I can, I hate it. And it's hard to read a map and drive. It's easier just to look at Google. Anyway, I don't know why I started venting about Google when I was talking about rain. Oh, a place to stay. So now i got to try and find a place to stay tonight. And it's 4th of July weekend. This town is so freaking busy. So I think I might try one of the campgrounds. I might have to. Because I couldn't find any truck stops in town. And... A Walmart in town only lets you stay here two hours at night. Not that I know how they know whether it's more than two hours or not. But since I really like taking advantage of Walmart stays, I'm not going to take advantage and abuse it. If they don't want us there, that's fine. So i got to figure that out and see what's up. But that is it. I'm actually going to call it a day because I am hot, tired, and exhausted. And it looks like pretty much everybody else is calling it a day. This parking lot really emptied out. Anyway, bye.